Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are saying thank you so much for 300 followers. And we're doing a very special slime stream. So we did a slime stream um, a while back, but I really didn't know what I was doing. I was using some of those like contact lens solutions type of recipes and, um, and it didn't work. The slimes do not stay together for very long and there really isn't an easy way to reactivate them once they've gotten messed up. So we have some big girl recipes this time and we're going to, we're going to do it. We're also going to do a little twist. I'm going to try my hand at some ASMR. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, it's been requested by a couple of you guys. So we're going to, we're going to see, we're going to see, um, we're going to try some of the, some of the whispering. <laughs> I don't know because I do not listen to too much ASMR myself, but I have been researching a little bit how to do it. Uh, and then I use the newbie tag and hopefully then people understand. I don't really know what I'm doing. But first, I would like to say welcome in Koneko. I see you've got the first, so it's going to be a good artistic license stream. Thank you so much. So happy to have you here. Um, also, we are currently running a survey of uh, the past year of the stream, and I would love to have anybody's feedback. So please definitely answer the questions there. It's it's all all the questions are optional, so you're welcome to answer just the questions you want to and skip the others. So uh, so I would love if you could give me some feedback on the past year of streaming, uh, and also it will show you just a little bit. Looking forward to next year as well. Okay, all right, we're gonna start the way we like to start all of our artistic license streams with a little personality quiz, and we're gonna do what kind of girlfriend are you? So here we go. I know some of you guys were doing this in the cafe and I saw it and this is this is a very good one. I think this is a very good one for a slime ASMR uh, stream. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. Um, so we're going to answer some questions and find out what type of girlfriend you are. Okay. What type of girlfriend am I? I don't know. All right. Pick a medieval humor. Okay. Uh, hot and wet. Phlegm is cold and wet. Yellow bile is hot and dry. Black bile is cold and dry. Uh, I guess... I guess hot and wet. I do like to say I am a tropical creature. I would not survive in a cold, dry place. So there we go. Okay. Pick a movie for the sleepover. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Um, we're going to pick a movie for the sleepover. Let's see. Let's see. I think I have to go with Spirited Away. That sounds like a great movie for the sleep. Some of these are some of whoever picks American Psycho. Like, I don't even know what kind of sleepover are you going to friend? I would like to understand this. Spirited away is my choice. Okay. Uh, plan a hangout. Upscale dining establishment. Afterwards, upscale dessert establishment. Afterwards, club. Uh, okay. Classic 72 hour staying at home and ordering food and vibing. Love that. Karaoke. I don't mind that. Uh, breaking and entering and vandalism with a smiley face. That one's, that one's okay. That one's okay. Hiking in the beautiful outdoors. Okay. I have to be true to myself. We're doing a classic 72 hour stay at home ordering food and vibing. Just a typical weekend. Okay, what's your sign? Okay, where's cancer? Oh, one of the answers is fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and I don't know. Okay, I understand. Well, anyway, I'm a cancer. I do know. <laughs> How do you show affection? Physical affection, hand-holding, etc. Elaborate, thoughtful gifts, biting. Oh, with my words, none, none of the above. Okay, uh, definitely got to go with the hand-holding answer. Uh, I did my answer slightly different this time. I got werewolf girlfriend. Oh, I hope I get werewolf girlfriend. I hope I get werewolf girlfriend. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we get. Nerd girlfriend's more accurate. Oh, <laughs> that's what you got when you were doing it earlier. I think I saw that. How many pillows do you sleep with? One, none, two to four, counting the number of my pillows on my bed will be a Sisyphean task. So it depends. I actually have one right now, but it is a very high quality pillow, but typically um, I would use two, two or three pillows. Um, one at the moment is only because we specifically bought these very high quality pillows. Anyway, two to four. Pick a bestie. Um, <laughs> Kim Kutsuragi, my real life cat, Greg from Night in the Woods, Ferb, Loki from the MCU, and Uhura. Okay. Uh, kitty cat. Wait, uh, kitty cat, of course. Are there any kitty cats in here? I set up all my stuff for the slime making, like all my stuff. And the cats decided, oh, this is all stuff for us to play with. They have been driving me fucking nuts all morning. But I love them anyways. It's okay. All right. Would you love your partner if they turned into a worm? No. Yes. Fuck the system. I would also turn into a worm and then we would be worms in love. We're going we're gonna to turn into worms. I, that sounds like a simpler life. So if they're a worm, then let's be worms together. 
What type of YouTube video do you fantasize about making? Eight hour video essay on my hyperfixation. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing here. <laughs> cat, I see Marcel's like cat slowly batting things off the table. I mean, that's basically what they were doing. Oh my God. Um, speed paint plus extremely niche drama voiceover. Oh no. Uh, science education video without safety precautions. <laughs> Uh, music video, gamer stream, get ready with me, lifestyle content. I can, I never, I never can make like the, the eight hour, like long videos. I end up making like a series of shorter ones that I expect you, but I expect you to watch all of them. So we're going to go with this. <laughs> if you take like my, you know, um, seven minute, uh, spare room episodes, I expect you to watch multiple. I even tell you in the episodes, you need to go back and watch this one and this one and this one, this one, these are prereqs. So I think that's kind of similar. Anyway, pick a bathtub. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Candlelit. Yes, it's beautiful. I like this one too. Um, no, I don't. I mean, I do like a shower as opposed to a bathtub, but like this is all open. I don't like this. I don't really like this one either. I like all the rest anyway, but this one is good. Okay, what words will you get to try something? Oh, what words will get you to try something new? Meet cute romance, high fantasy, comfort content, buddy comedy, emo soundtrack, 70s horror, emo soundtrack. It's got an emo soundtrack. I'll give it a try. I read the scripts for excessive amounts of video essays, and then I'm sure as heck would add up to eight hours if I actually made them all in a video together. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean, Koneko. I know exactly what you mean. Do you think you could successfully wrestle an alligator? Fuck no. I, anybody that says yes has never met an alligator. The fuck? They're gigantic, and they will... Kill anything that splashes. Tell me about the best date you've ever been on or tell me about the coolest dog you've ever seen. No. Oh, it was in the middle. There's another one. Okay. Lyrics for your poetic folks out there. They're all hosier. Plus one death cab for cutie. No, I won't apologize. Good. You shouldn't. I need you to run to me. Run to me, lover. Run to me till you feel your lugs bleeding. I know your our filthy hands can wash one another's and not one speck will remain. Sweet music playing in the dark, be still my foolish heart. And so I fall in love just a little, oh, a little bit every day with someone new. With her sweetened breath and her tongue so mean, she's the angel of small death in it, the codeine scene. Don't let me in with no intention to keep me, Jesus Christ, don't be kind to me. You better apologize, I can't believe you put lyrics in the quiz. <laughs> so many of these have the, have the lyrics, and I don't know, these are like very dramatic. I think they should apologize. Um, not because they put just all one, you know, one artist, but because these are all too crazy. Okay. Who's your dream girlfriend? A kind person. I'm not into girlfriend. Someone who commits a best friend, someone I feel a spark with. So, so hot, just unbelievably sexy. Um, I think, uh, someone who commits. Okay. what I get? I got nerd girlfriend. I knew I would get nerd girlfriend. Okay. I genuinely think you're majorly dateable. Tell me more about lost media and instinct in extinct snails. No problem. Got three weed smoking girlfriends on here. That's amazing. Goth girlfriend, girl boss, vampire girlfriend, jock girlfriend, werewolf girlfriend, discord kitten. Yes, discord kitten. Nerd girlfriend. Yes, I love this. Hatsune Miku, problematic girlfriend, force girl girlfriend, Ren Fair. Well, these are some good answers. These, are, I feel like we did a really similar quiz before. Maybe we did this one. I don't know, but some of it seemed familiar. Some of it didn't. But these answers, all looking at all these answers definitely doesn't seem familiar. So I think maybe we did a different version of this quiz or something like that. Anyway, nerd girlfriend. I love it. Yes. It's a high five for you, Koneko. High five. Yeah, we did a similar one. I feel I feel like that's true. Like, but all of these were not on here on that other one, I feel like. Because I would feel like I would have remembered seeing three weed smoking girlfriends on the quiz. And so I don't think we saw that. Okay, you guys. It is time. We're gonna switch over. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah. We did what kind of girlfriend would you have, not what girlfriend would you be? Ah, oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. So we're going to do. I need to go into my microphone and I need to turn off my gates. Okay. Okay. The gates are off. Now I can whisper into the microphone, make it all ASMR. Okay. So. I'm going to explain to you guys a little bit about what I did with the slime making process. 
So this is how you make an activator, which is what I was missing before I was using contact lens solution as my activator instead of a real activator. So we're using a real activator this time, which is very simple. It's borax, which I have in the background right there. That's a bag of borax. So you take a teaspoon of borax and then one cup, eight ounces of warm water, and you put it in a bottle like this. This is uh, for condiments, but you could use anything. You could honestly even use like an old water bottle. It doesn't matter. And then you just, you shake a shaker when it, while it's warm so that it all dissolves. This is your activator. So that's step one. That's what you need. Okay. Now I'm going to adjust my screen so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Now you can, you can see. Let's see. Let me move the microphone a little bit. Let me move it so it's okay. Okay, I think we're live again. I'm so sorry, you guys. My computer lost the USB for both the microphone and the mouse at the same time. So I had no way to tell you what the heck was going on and what I was trying to troubleshoot. But anyway, it should be fixed now. Also, we're gonna we're gonna turn up my microphone so that you can actually hear things and so that I can actually whisper with you hearing me. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I think I've got good volume now. So I think if I whisper, you can actually hear what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Hi, Koneko. You get the first again. Congratulations. Okay, and now you can see again. And I still have my mouse. And I still have my microphone. Okay. I tagged this stream newbie for a reason. This uh, required some technical changes that I'm not used to. So, um, things were bound to go wrong. So of course they did just not in the ways that I expected, but we're back now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start with a glass bowl to do this. Scoot it up so you guys can see really good. There we go. Okay. All right. And the basic ingredients. <laughs> The basic ingredients of slime are glue. So I've got some glue, okay? And uh, borax and water. So that's hence the dissolved borax activator that we've got here. <laughs> that's right, Koneko. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be an experimental like new thing on stream if it's not a little scuffed, right? So we're just we're just a little scuffed, but that's okay. That's okay. It's very cool. Okay. I've also got, in addition to school glue, I've got glue all. You can see the, it's uh, partly empty because I've been practicing. Yeah. And I've got clear glue. Now, anything that can go with these ingredients can be added to your slimes. So I've got tons of different things we can add as well. We've got um, a ton of food coloring. Let me just open this up. Got a ton of food coloring. All of these are different food colorings, okay? I've got a ton of different scents, like I've got, we've got buttermilk pancake, we've got all kinds of flowers, we've got sugar cookie, coffee, I've got a bunch of Christmas scents that I got to make the house smell good for Christmas. Um, I've also got some kind of like cologne type scents. This one is called Toxic Terrence and some other things like that. I've got all kinds. I've got all kinds. Okay. So because I am very excited about the new Pokemon game, we're going to start out by making just a very basic slime um, inspired by Pikachu. Okay. So we're going to make it yellow and I feel like Pikachu is kind of like uh, a nice sugar cookie, okay? Everyone loves Pikachu. Nobody's mad when you're serving up Pikachu. So we're gonna have sugar cookie scent. And we're gonna have some yellow color. Let me get a really nice bright yellow out of here. So I'm just gonna use like the basic yellow, I think for Pikachu, right? But I do have some other yellows we could use. Now, because we're dealing with glue, this is messy. Okay, this is a little messy. 
So we're gonna we're gonna take off our ring. Okay. So and I would recommend that you do this craft without any kind of like rings or without any kind of bracelets on. Uh, cause you're gonna you're gonna get glue in them if you don't, okay? So the reason why I've got this scale here is because I have four ounce cups that I, uh, containers that I'm putting these in and I'll show you guys some of them from the ones I've made already. So I made this Sprigatito slime. This is a very fluffy slime right here. And um, i show it to you on this camera. So you can see Sprigatito. Okay. And he is made with uh, some shaving foam to make him very fluffy. And he's lilac scented. He's very green. Okay. I've also got some Quaxly slime. This one, Quaxly, you can see he's clear. Put some little feathers with it. You want to add those in. And he is he is a clear slime. It smells like blueberry cobbler. So he is very like very smooth. Clear glue makes a very smooth slime. And then we have got Boy Coco slime. Okay, I made him. It's a butter slime. So he is very soft and he's apple cinnamon smell. And you can do any of these combinations. And I've been having a lot of fun learning how to make slime. Okay, so we're gonna make some together. So for this Pikachu slime, let's get some glue all. We've got our big jug right here of glue all. And I'm gonna turn this on with the bowl on top. So we've got a zero and we've got it set to fluid ounces already. So we're gonna pour four fluid ounces of glue all. Maybe it's stuck. Oh, wait. I had glued the cap on, apparently. Let's get this ring of glue off. There we go. There we go. A, sorry about that. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, here we go. Four ounces of glue all. pretty close 3.96 so now this is the point where you would add various things to the slime to change the texture and color so we're gonna add a couple of drops of this yellow food coloring five drops I think that's gonna give us a nice yellow we can add some more if that's not the case I have, oh my gosh, thank you so much for following. We have um, anonymous followers on here, but if you would like to say hello, I'd be more than happy to thank you in person. Hello, hello. I, I, uh, I appreciate you following during uh, this experimental stream for us. Okay, so here we go. We've got some sugar cookie smell. I'll show you guys on here, sugar cookie. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, you guys really want some cookies now. Okay, but anyway, we're gonna get five milliliters of this. And I've definitely found through playing with this that some scents are stronger than others. So some require a bit more, some a bit less, but the five milliliters for the four ounces of glue I have found is pretty good. Pretty good starting point for most scents that I have discovered at, so far. Okay, also, I feel like for Pikachu, uh, he is very smooth, you know, uh, very fluffy. I am a fan of the old style fat Pikachu. So we're gonna put some lotion in this slime as well.
And I've got tons of glitter and various things behind me. So um, if you guys have a certain uh, maybe Pokemon or something, since we're on the Pokemon train, but other things are fine too. Things that I should make a slime of. Uh, tell me in the chat because we've got we've got so many things um, behind me as you guys saw at the beginning of the stream. Okay, so I'm going to put like about six pumps of lotion. Well, first I have to open it. Open the lotion. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yes, Pikachu. If you don't, if if your favorite version of Pikachu is not Fat Gen One Pikachu, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we love him. Oh, squeaky. Sorry for that noise. Okay. Here we go. Now you guys can see. Now we are just just gonna mix okay we're just gonna mix and watch the color come together into what we want I think this is gonna give us a very bright yellow if it doesn't we'll add a few more drops of the yellow food coloring so there's some add-ins you would want to add during this step and then some you would not. So pretty much your color and your um, scent and kind of like your liquid add-ins like your lotions and things like that we can add in at this step. Also a lot of people I have noticed use like vegetable glycerin and baby oil in some of those ingredients. I have been trying my best to get those ingredients to work but they just melt my slimes. They just melt them. So I think you have to have like a big batch. So I feel like this yellow is very pale. I think we, we can we can make Pikachu a little more yellow than this. I think he can be a little more yellow. Let's try that. Let's see if this is a, a vibrant Pikachu yellow. I feel like the five drops was a little bit pastel. Let's see about eight drops. So when it comes to color, yeah, that was the Fido color. Oh, we could make a Fido. I, I gotta see. Oh, we could make him pancake scented. We could make a Fido that's pancake scented. That would be cool. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I got so excited hearing Fido. I totally forgot what I was saying. <sighs> okay, I think this is not yellow enough. Let's go ham. Okay. That's eight more drops. Okay. Let's gonna see about this. Now this is slime making is a lot of just mixing and experimenting, I have found. The reason why a lot of slime recipes are not super exact on their formulas or measurements, part of it is they don't want to share, but also part of it is because it kind of depends. It depends on like the temperature and humidity and where you're making the slime as to exactly what you should do. Let me, let me see if I have a breadwin Koneko. I'm not sure that I do. The I have a blueberry cobbler that's kind of reddish. I have buttermilk pancakes. I have the sugar cookie. Um, now you can get all kinds of scents, so I'm sure that there is. Oh, I have banana nut bread. <gasps> Oh my gosh, just kidding. Out of the scents I have, we have to do banana nut bread for Fido. Um, I'm sure you could get a freshly baked bread. One. I just don't have one in my pile of scents. Yeah, I don't have one. Oh, but we do banana nut bread. We do banana nut bread for Fido. Okay, this is starting to actually look Pikachu yellow to me. So, now, once you have got kind of your liquid ingredients the way that you want them, it's time to start activating. So we're gonna activate this with our borax solution right here, okay? So this was very challenging for me to learn. So I'm gonna show you guys what I learned and then you can learn too, okay? So we're just gonna put a little squirt, okay? A little squirt like that. 
and then we're going to mix it. Okay. And it might be tempting to try to figure out, and this is where I messed up, try to figure out how much of the borax solution you really need and just add that amount and then mix it all at once. But here's the thing then it doesn't work. You have to add it little by little, just like when you're adding like powdered sugar to something, you add it little by little so it flies, because it flies everywhere. When you're adding your borax activator to the slime, you have to add it little by little. Otherwise, it's not going to mix right. It's going to get clumpy. And this is where I have not been able to get things like um, baby oil and vegetable glycerin to work. The, it just doesn't activate. It melts and undoes the activation whenever I use those. So I've been trying with those ingredients, but it's not working. But lotion, foam, um, those are working very well. I keep hitting the mic with the stirring. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And I use glue all, which gets really clumpy like this. So this is something that glue all does, but we will need that out when we get to that stage. So you just kind of want to keep adding a little bit of borax until it starts pulling away from the bowl pretty cleanly. And then we're going to do the messy part, the messy part where we mix with our hands. And that's going to knead out all of the clumps. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, you can see it's starting to kind of like pull away from the bowl. It looks a little like this. cleaned off. I've got some paper towels here. Let me just grab a paper towel. Okay, we're going to put our we're going to put our stirrer over on the paper towel over here. All right. We still need you borax. But let's get our hands in there. Start like kneading out some of these. Oh, here's a cat hair. Get out of there, cat hair. Don't need you. Told you they were crawling all over my desk before stream. It was just crazy. It was just crazy. So what I'm trying to do is get these lumps out and get the borax to just solution to just kind of distribute a bit more instead of being clumped up. This is what I've noticed happen when I use the glue all as opposed to like the school glue. It's going to be very messy, but it's okay because once the slime is made, you'll be able to clean off your hands with the slime. So it works very well. Needed some more borax. Okay. And any of you guys in the chat, because I see there's some new faces um, hanging out lurking, which is fine. We love our lurkers here. But if you know how to make slime and you have tips for me based on what you see me doing, things I could do differently, I would love to hear them. Because I'm very new at this. I've only been practicing for a couple months. There's a lot that I don't know, of course. Think you are not an expert in something until you have put in like a hundred hours into that thing. That's kind of the, the staple, right? Once you put in a hundred hours, you're kind of, you're an expert at the thing. I have not put in anywhere close to that. Maybe 30 or 40 hours or so. I'm going to turn this up a little bit so you guys can hear the mixing sounds. There we go. Let's get... Oh 
some more borax around those edges. There we go. See those strings where it's pulling away. 100 times more interesting than any experiments I did in chemistry. So half of that is because my chem teacher was a dipstick. <laughs> Didn't do experiments. Well, I will tell you this part of making it, um, it is very fun, but it is definitely not like texture satisfying. It's way more texture satisfying once you've actually got the slime made and you're playing with it. When it's in this stage and you're mixing it together, it's kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. Like this is kind of wet. <laughs> it's wet and goopy. I mean, it makes cool sounds and stuff, but it's like, yeah. <sighs> but you have to knead out all of these little, uh, all of this stuff. The actual slime texture. There's a lot of different textures uh, for slime, Koneko. I wonder if there's some textures that you're a little bit more okay with than others. Like a butter slime or something that's um, not wet at all. Or like we're gonna, I think we wanna turn this into like a foam slime. Um, I think that would be very fun. So we'll see how you feel about that texture. I'm just trying to pick up more from the bowl as we need this out. So you don't want to add in too much borax too fast. I have found that that is a recipe to make sure your slime does not turn out. Oh, even hand sanitizer and lotion? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know then. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's very fun. but I like having that soft, like lotion feel on my hands. Okay, I do need some more borax, I think. After kneading this, I'm gonna take, try to get it all into one hand. And so I have minimal slime on that hand. There we go. Now let's mix in this more activator. Ah, thank you so much the lurk. We love our lurkers here. I'm going to hold this up by the microphone. So it's making some really nice popping sounds as we're kneading it here. You can see a lot of those like, those like lumps are worked out. It's getting kind of firmer. Now one thing also I have noticed, no matter what you do, your slime over time will start to melt and you have to reactivate it. So that's why when you order slime from a lot of these like independent like slime boutique shops, they will send you borax along with your slime so that you have a way to reactivate that slime. Okay, let's take some of our slime that's still in the bowl. Looks like we've got some activators still in the bowl too. It's very satisfying feeling it uh, slowly become less like gross glue <laughs> and more like slime. This is very fun, I think. Good activity for both adults and kids. 
And this part's very satisfying too, just like sticking, stick, stick. Get it all off your hands. It is still a bit sticky. Okay. Feels pretty good. Let's get some more out of the bowl. And here I live in a very warm climate, so I've found it's easier if I like kind of overactivate the slime a little bit. Is starting to feel pretty good. I want to get this off of the walls. The bowl. I have some extra bowls in here if we need to switch bowls, but I would really like to just use this same one. So we're going to try to get all of the slime. we go. The bowl is looking pretty clean now. Okay. Okay. Let's move this bowl out of the way. All right. It's just neat. This is a very thick and soft slime because we used glue all and lotion. It's also very stretchy because of using the glue all and the lotion. It's a good bubble pop. So when it comes to making slime, it is also recommended to wash your hands thoroughly with cold water before you start the slime making process. So I did do that before stream today. Make sure I wash my hands really, really well with cold water. So you don't want heat in your hands if you can avoid it. Because warming the slime can also kind of undo some of the activation process. And we don't want that. We want our slime to stay nice and activated. And the people that are really making and selling this, they're doing this in these kind of like big stand mixers. So they're going to get like much smoother slime, whereas I'm still here working out lumps. <laughs> but they can walk away like you can when you're making a cake with stand mixer. But this is looking pretty good. Oh, it's good bubble pops. Oh, and it smells so good, like a sugar cookie. Still got some lumps. I try to do those individually. I don't think you can see. I'm looking in the OBS. I don't think you can see the lumps on camera really. Yeah, it looks pretty smooth on camera, but I still see a little bit of lumps in real life. Hmm. Okay. Now Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon, 
So I feel like he should have a little bit of texture, you know, a little bit of spark. Like, yes, he is soft and fluffy and stretchy. But I think he got some spark too, you know. Pikachu's got a little sass in the anime. He doesn't like to go in his Pokeball, right? So like, let's do something with that. I think he would got he would do great with some foam balls in there. Okay, so I have some back here. I have a whole lot of foam balls so we can make foam. Okay. Put the slime right here for a second, and let's open this up. I have not opened this before, so it looks like they're in these individual baggies. Of course the yellow's at the bottom. <laughs> so I'm having to pie hold these all in my life. Oh gosh, they're falling. <sighs> oh, come here, yellow. Got you. Got the yellow. <sighs> Okay, let's put these, let's get the other yellow out just in case we need it. So I'm gonna fill this up with foam balls. Okay, can we get these all back in the bag? I don't know. Oh wait, they're all on the floor. I sort of can. It's overflowing a little. That's okay, though. All right. I just can't stop. I just, once I start, like, playing with these, I just can't, I just can't stop. I just can't stop. Okay. All right. So satisfying. <laughs> Let's open up our phone. And pour those in our bowl. Okay, and like, let's pick them up. Then we're just gonna knead these into the slime. I want to see how many will fit without it starting to like lose them because <laughs> I don't want to put so many in that they fall out when you play. I remember when I was a kid and Nickelodeon Gak was like the big thing, right? And they had several and I'm realizing now that like Gak was like regular slime, okay? And phloem is with these little phloem balls here, is slime with the phloem balls. And then there was smud, which is basically butter slime, what we call butter slime today. But it was smud back then. I feel like there was other like Nickelodeon branded slimes besides those three, but those are the three that I remember. Ah. Oh. Oh, that is so, it reminds me of Floam from when I was a kid. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, it makes lots of air and bubbles when you have these. Let's get some more. So crackly. <laughs> Look at how stretchy. Oh. This is just like playing with phloem from when I was a kid. I think I can fit this whole little pack in here, but not the next one. So we're going to 
I'm going to dip in one more time. Try to get the rest of these balls into the slime. <laughs> this is good styrofoam noises. Oh, apparently there's a little bit of green. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. Don't know what was green in that bowl or in that bag, but something was. Get out of there. Don't want you green in our Pikachu slime. Okay, I think I put too many foam balls in there because they're falling out. <laughs> they're falling out back into the bowl. That's not ideal. I'm gonna adjust the microphone a little bit so you guys can hear better. I think if I flip it around, that'll be better. Okay, all right. I think this will be a better position for you guys to hear everything in the slime. Okay. Oh yeah, we definitely put too much foam into it. It's falling all out. That's okay. Just gonna keep kneading it to let those balls fall out back into our bowl. Definitely too many foam balls. <laughs> but that's okay, because Pikachu's a bit extra. So he would understand. Okay, let's try to brush some of these out. Maybe I should have put in about half of that bag <laughs> instead of the whole thing. I just got excited, you guys. I just got excited and I was like, more foam, more foam. Okay, I think this slime is basically, it's basically created, okay? So, I forgot to grab my containers when I grabbed everything else. So I have to go get the containers really quick. Um, I will be right back. One second, it's just on the other side. Okay, this is my, this is 
in my bag of slime containers. Yeah, get under there. Okay. <gasps> Got it. All right. We're going to put the slime into the container. It's probably not all going to fit. Yeah, it's so dense with all the foam beads in there. Remember we started out with four ounces of glue, but since we have added so much, then we've got a lot of extra. So let's twist this off like that. Just separate it. I didn't want to separate it, I just wanted to keep stretching. Hmm. It's very stretchy slime. We have a little bit of extra. So I'm gonna put that in a little different container. These are four ounces too, but they're tall containers, so they're kind of hard to get this line back out of if I put them in here. So we'll just use this for some holding some of the extra slime. <laughs> I can hear the foam balls against the top. Okay, let me flake some of this glue and stuff off my hands. They're, they're kind of, they got kind of messy. I didn't do a very good job cleaning my hands up and playing with the slime. Okay, I think I would like then next to do one for Fido. I think Fido would make a really good butter slime. So uh, we're going to make one for him. I used a Fido in my party when I played uh, Scarlet and Violet. He was so fun. And um, I used him also to catch the Ray Charizard that just came out. Um, he was very good for that since he's very tight for fighting the dragon. And he has the well-baked body. So... Um, able to then get higher defense from the fire attacks. Okay, so let's dump out the rest of these. Okay, clean bowl. Clean bowl. Oops. Put this. So for butter slime, you add in some clay. Now I have this Japanese clay here. You can see like that, okay? Soft clay. But I think other soft clays work fine too. Let me just make sure that my pack of this is not dried out. And if I have to open a new pack, it is soft clay, so it will dry. Okay, no, it's still soft, not dried out. Good, good. Put it in Ziploc baggie to try to prevent that. I guess that worked, so that's good. You can get this off of Amazon. You can get basically everything I've been using off of Amazon, except for the scents. Those come from Nature's Garden. Okay, we'll put the clay to the side. All right, and we're going to start similar, except that I'm going to use school glue for Fido, so you can see the difference. For the school glue. Now, this is already four fluid ounces. Okay. I know I have some inversion, so I'm not sure if you guys can see or if that's backwards for you. I think it's backwards for you. But anyway, it's four fluid ounces. So we don't have to measure. We can just pour him in. So if you're making this with kids, I would recommend getting the school glue, the four ounces of school glue, so that um, they're not pouring out of big glue jugs like I was. I think for kids, that's a little bit easier. Oh, 
also for adults that are doing this for the first time, I guess that's good too. Okay, I want to get all the little strings out. Go on, glue strings. Oh, it just, it just keeps going. Welcome back, Koneko. We're starting the Fido slime. We finished the Pikachu slime. We're going to start the Fido one. The Pikachu one came out fun. We added the foam balls. It's very crackly. So for Fido, we're going to color him yellow. And so I think we could do banana nut bread. But what might also be fun is we have blueberry cobbler. If we make him yellow but smell like blueberry cobbler, we could do that too if we wanted. Um, let me smell the banana nut bread. It smells so good, you guys. So good. Once I realized I could go online and buy any scent I wanted, I kind of like, it's like, it's like the sky's the limit. I kind of bought a lot of scents. I kind of bought a lot of scents. But you can literally do any scents. Okay. All right. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. We're making Fido. So I think Fido gets less... I have, I've become too powerful. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, almost spilled, almost spilled my food coloring. Okay. The Pikachu, you better go put you in, put you in the back over here. Okay, I probably need to also put the ones I showed you guys. Let me put these, let me put these Pokemon I showed you at the beginning back in the cabinet. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do five milliliters of some banana bread. Banana nut bread. Everything just smells too good when you've got a zillion scents in whatever you want. Okay. I think we should do a little bit of lotion for him too. Now we're going to make him really soft with some clay in a moment. So we don't need to do too much lotion. All right, here we go. Mixing time. Now the clay ingredient gets added afterwards. So we do this mixing, and then we're gonna add in our clay after. This turned out, the school glue the, took the dye way stronger. I think I'm gonna add in just a little bit of clear. Yeah, um, I'm not very talented at math either, Koneko. I kind of can't do it on my own. I pretty much have to use a spreadsheet or calculator. Uh, even though I, I like a lot of that stuff, I cannot actually do it very well. I'm going to add a dollop. There we go. 
a little bit. Because I love stuff like this, where I get to measure and play with low stakes. Like, I like baking for that reason, too. But um, as a profession, I think I probably could not do it. Oh, that smells so good in here. After using the sugar cookie one and the banana nut bread, I'm already thinking about what snack I want to get when we switch over to the other uh, game. Oh, yeah. Koneko, I don't know if you were here yesterday, but... We're switching over to doing four hour streams now. So at the halfway mark, we'll stop for a minute so I can go get a snack and have a break, and then we'll come back and do more streaming. Okay, so that's basically the mixture for Fido. Let's add some activator. I'm not bumping the mic all the time now, and I think you guys can see it better. Yeah, no, we're gonna, I think I'm gonna move to that. Um, as my, as four hours being my typical stream time, and then, you know, if they're shorter or longer for specific reasons, like we would always do, that's still fine. But I think I'm gonna move to that as four hours for the standard time. There's just so much more I can do in the four hour time, I think, you know? Now, it's still going to be two hour segments, right? Like we're not going to have four hour long podcasts. Um, I think that's a little excessive. Nobody wants to listen to four hours of my opinion all at once, but we will have four hour long streams with the two hour, two with two, two hour segments. Now the school glue, I do find a lot easier to work with and clear glue as well. Glue all is a little bit harder to work with, I think, but um, it makes a very, very soft, nice slime. So I think that's why glue all is so well preferred. Let's raise you up a little bit. There we go. More activator. Mix, mix, mix. I want banana nut bread now. <laughs> it is football Sunday, so Levi is making some snacks. When I was getting ready for stream, he was making like uh, the meatball and mini sausages in the barbecue sauce with the jelly, like that thing. But he was making like a melt version with cheese. I was like, ooh, hello. So I'll maybe eat some of that if it's ready when it's break time. Don't know how long it takes to cook. Maybe two hours is right, and then it will be ready when I go on the break. Oh my gosh, it smells like banana nut bread in here. This is so good. <laughs> it's sticking. There we go. A little bit more boring. And if you try to add all the borax at once, it just becomes a big lump. I also tried to make things less messy by putting on gloves to knead the slime. And I don't think that really works with handmade slime. I just kind of ended up having the gloves stick to the slime and I had to throw the whole ball away. Um, I think you could use gloves to mix it if you already know it's like 99% mixed. If you had like a stand mixer and you're making the big batches, but I think for little personal batches like this, I think we cannot do gloves. You have to just be messy with your hands. <laughs> All right, it's starting to pull away from the bowl, but I think it's not enough. Let's just lift this up and get some borax down here. Okay, now it feels like it's kind of coming together. Um, we have a, several different flower scents. We have some coffee. We have the bakery scents we have is banana nut bread. Um, 
blueberry cobbler and buttermilk pancakes. We also have two cologne scents. One is called Toxic Terrence and the other is called Perfect Man. And we have a bunch of Christmas scents too. Like I have Christmas tree and um, Mrs. Claus's cookies. I have one called um, Elf elf something elf sweat i think and it smells like mountain dew which is funny i also have a strawberry daiquiri um what kind of scent were you thinking i can tell you the specific ones i have that are close to what you were thinking i don't think i listed them all i just listed a bunch now but i don't think that was all Right now it's pulling away from the bowl pretty good. Still feels very sticky though. So I know it's gonna need some more borax. But I had switched to kneading it with my hands just cause I don't wanna end up with any big lumps. Like a park or a forest, okay. We can do that. We can do a foresty one. You know, I actually have like dried flowers and things that could be like good add-ins, you know. See, the school glue is a bit easier, I feel like. It's not got all those lumpies when it's at this stage where it's kind of like pulling away from the bowl, so it's sticking to each other way easier. But it doesn't make as satisfying a texture at the end as the glue all does. So the glue all is still kind of, I think, what everyone is using and why they're doing that. Do you want something? So we have like rose and lilac, and I think I have another flower too, lavender, I think. Why don't we do something with all those scents? Ooh. Oh, oh, what if we mixed like coffee with one of the flowers? I wonder how that would smell, if that would smell gross or if that would smell good. <laughs> Cause I feel like a mist, that's kind of what I think of. I think of like a warm smell, but also nature. I have no idea how this really sounds to you guys. I know how it sounds in real life and I can see <laughs> that the OBS microphone is picking it up, <laughs> but uh, I wonder how it sounds when it's like in your ear. I have to go back and watch this stream. Coffee and lavender. We can make one with mist, it's coffee and lavender. Yeah, I've got a lot of glitter, so we could make we could make a mist one. I have seen brown slimes though, and I think because of the texture <laughs> of slime, a brown slime is not super appealing, but maybe I can make it silver. Even though silver isn't very steampunk color and mist is kind of steampunk, but we do that. Neko, speaking of mist, I will tell you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. I will tell you. Everybody else, mute your stream for five seconds. <laughs> um, next year, I'm definitely going to be doing uh, Mist 3 Exile. We'll definitely play the third one on stream. I'm still kind of putting together the schedule for 2023 and kind of what, the, what my goals are and what I want to play for you guys in 2023. But I know that's going to be on there. I think it could, it's still like a little bit sticky. I think it could use this, but it's very stretchy. Fido would be very stretchy, right? Stretchy. <laughs> oh, 
stretchy. Uh, yes, I do have lots of metallic glitters. I will show you when we get to that. Um, but yes, I could make like a, I think I might have like a silver color. I don't know. I got to look at what the food colorings that I have. If I have one that would work for silver. Or, you know what I've not tried yet, Quineco, that I'm kind of feeling like maybe I should try? Maybe I should try mica powder. Maybe I should put mica powder in slime. I've not done that yet. I wonder if it would work. We could try that for our mist slime. Okay. Is that the stage? Feels like it's going to be done activating soon, but it's not quite there yet. It's still sticking to my hands quite a bit. Come on, Fido, cooperate. bowl. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm glad I chose to use the school glue for this one. Look at how stretchy it is. I'll show on this. <laughs> it's so stretchy. Stretch. <laughs> okay, it's still sticky a little bit. Oh, oh there's some in the bottom, I remember. This is where you have to be careful where it's still like a little sticky. You don't want to add too much because then it's going to become like hard. <laughs> and we want stretchy. Okay. We want stretchy and fun. We don't want hard slime. Okay. We want soft and stretchy. Yep. So this is what you'll get with a very basic slime recipe with just the school glue and some lotion, and then your scent and color. I just want to eat this, but you can't eat slime. Don't eat slime, guys. It's glue. You can't eat it. <laughs> you can just stretch it. <laughs> I think, I think this Fido is ready. He's not sticking to my hands anymore. Probably though, he will need to sit and then be reactivated. I would assume. I do not, I think that's what's gonna happen with him. Because slime does change after you let it sit for a little bit. Yes, it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Good bubble pops. Okay, let's get a container for our for our Fido ball. I'm 
Lost him like that pizza dough. Oh, let's clean off this because we're definitely not using yellow next time. So let's clean this and mix this into the slime. There we go. We have a clean stirrer. Oh, oh my God. Is, there's not an Italian Pokemon region, but oh my God, if there ever is an Italian Pokemon region, Pizza Fido. Ah! Bruschetta bun. <laughs> For the dash button. <laughs> okay. Someone make that fake Emon. I want to see him. Koneko, can you draw Pokemon? I know you draw some things. But is Pokemon one of the things you draw? Panini! <gasps> Panini! Yes. Oh my god. Okay, so here is our Fido. Yeah. Fido. Fido slime. It's not an art style ideal. You should give it a try. Oh, I I got so excited about the mist idea. I forgot. I forgot the last step. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I forgot the last step. We're making him a butter slime. Hang on. Let me get you back out of the container, Fido. He's so stretchy. He does not want to come out. Come on. He wants to stick to the top part. <laughs> Come here. Yeah. Oh my god, I was gonna show you how to make a butter slime. Make it a butter slime. Okay. I got him out. All right. <laughs> So here we go. So we have got, I just want to measure. Come here. Ooh, sorry for the squeal there. That's not very ASMR. I don't think anyone likes that sound. Okay, so we put this here and let's see how much we have. Oh. Yeah, it's very squeaky. Okay, 4.73. Yeah, 4.70. Okay. Okay, let's push this back. Instead of sliding it, just pick it up. Okay. 4.70. Okay. So then I think I want to eyeball it. I think I want to go. This much. You guys can even see what I'm doing. I think I want about this much. Let's see how much that is. Point thirty. I don't know. I think we could do more. Let's try doubling that. Okay. That's about half. Come here. Okay. So I'm gonna take this ball of the clay, the air dry clay. It's very soft. I don't know if you can hear like the way the air goes in it. But anyway, we're gonna put that in. Now this is gonna make his color a little bit lighter as well, because it's white. But you can get these in different colors. This is gonna make him very soft and stretchy. solution in it. Okay. Start doing that again. There we go. I'm just going to fold it in. 
This is going to make the slime so much more. It's going to make it very firm as well. So butter slime is a great recipe if you wanted to give slime to a kid. Now I don't necessarily recommend slime as a toy for kids under five because they're just going to get it in your carpet. It's going to be an awful mess. Um, but if you do want to give it to a young kid or a particularly messy kid, I recommend this because like, it's just so firm. You make it a butter slime. And this is the texture that I just love. Like it's, it's like velvet. It's like you were playing with stretchy velvet. There we go. That's what I wanted to show you guys and make. Okay, let me show you this camera too. See how he's still really stretchy, but like now he's like really soft and velvety. Like I want to put it on my face, but I'll get makeup in it. So I'm not going to do that. I mean, that'd be gross. See, I can make him ropes. And now he really will <laughs> be like a dough ball. <laughs> like pizza dough. He really is like pizza dough now, but he smells like banana nut bread. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we put him in his container. He's not going to fit, I know, because I just added a whole bunch of clay to him. Sorry, there's so many bubbles, I keep popping them. Okay, let's put him in, let's put him in. <laughs> He's overflowing. When I let him sit, he is gonna condense down a bit. So let's twist off the top. Like that air is going to rise to the top, you know. <laughs> so there we go. And then we'll put the extra in one of these guys. And I just love this texture so much. Butter slime. Like so soft and beautiful. Here we go. This is our Fido slime. I'm going to put him over here. All right. So I think for a mist slime, we, gosh, this bowl smells like baked goods. Okay. We're going to have to get a different bowl. Let's get a different bowl for our mist slime. put that bowl in the dishwasher. All right. For mist slime, I think we need clear glue. Let's see what let's see what we have. I definitely think we need clear glue. And I think we're going to try with some mica powder and some metallic glitters. I wonder if I wouldn't hate a brown color slime if it was like um, 
glittery, like with the mica powder, as opposed to just like brown, brown. I don't think I've seen any brown and, and glittery ones. So I've got some of these little iridescent like pebble thingies that we could put in there that I think might be cool. And then I've got all these different colors of, of like metallic glitter. So like here's a black one, here's a silver one. We definitely got to use the silver. I've also got a couple of different kind of bronzes. Like this is a bronze and this is a gold. And then this is like a rose gold. So I don't know, I think definitely we should put some rose gold and some bronze in there. And then I've got this kind of like pale gold. So you can see like the difference, warm gold and cool gold. I don't think we need those. Yeah, okay. And let's, let me pull out my mica powders. I didn't pull those out because I wasn't thinking of using those for slime, but I feel inspired now. And I love making a slime with lots of glitter because then it feels kind of like sand to me. So we'll have like that type of texture, which I think is really fun. I have a sugar cookie slime I made, but I took it to work so I can't show you guys because I love it so much. It's It smells like sugar cookies and it's got tons of glitter in it. So like it feels sandy. Okay, let's see what mica powders I have. Ooh, these are kind of sticky with resin. Not, not you, I'm looking for some browns. Okay, I've got a green and gold. Here, you guys can see, okay. Deep taupe, that might be useful. Oh, straight up bronze. Copper. that's all the colors that would work good for this. Oh, while I make a big mess, apparently one of those was leaking. Great. I've got blue everywhere. <laughs> uh, let's clean that up. Where's the Lysol? <clears throat> I don't want blue getting in there. All right, so I think for, for mist, we'll use these glitters and we'll use this guy to give it the, some fun. But I think for our main color, here's a light brown umber, the sepia, mm, not these. Let's see. Mm, I think maybe the umber. We'll use umber and these guys. And then we'll use all my flower scents. Put these back in the box. So 
for flowery scents, I have lavender flowers. I have, I have lilac. I have lilac. What, lady? We're making slime. You have too much fur to make slime, baby. And I have, and I have Victorian rose. And then another one I think would match actually very well with mist is Perfect Man. And then we have, let's see. Oh, we have teakwood and cardamom as well. Let's see. And then freshly brewed coffee. Okay, so we're gonna play, I'm gonna play with the scents just a second. I've got a little, got a little container here. Scoot out the way glitters. We're going to mix some of these. So I definitely want the freshly brewed coffee. Oh my God, this smells so fucking good. Mmm. Oh my God, you guys. So that's the lilac. Where's the man? Here's the man. Okay. Oof, this one smells so good too. Like they mean it, perfect man. That's for real. Not kidding. Oh my gosh, hi Lunar. Welcome in. Welcome to my thank you for the 300 followers stream. How are you doing today? We're doing ASMR and slime. We've made a couple. We're making one inspired by mist now. Okay. I'm gonna smell my flowers. Okay. Let's see. Just got out of church. Oh, did you have a nice time at church? I hope it was I hope it was nice and fun. Okay, the man and coffee together smells very good. I think it's too much coffee though. We need more perfect man, less coffee. I'm gonna add some rose to it. I wanna see how that smells. This might be like overwhelming amount of smell. Um, but that's okay. Mist can be kind of overwhelming game. kids were in a happy mood. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, there's so much going on mixing these together. What a good idea. Um, Koneko. Okay. I think I want to add one more flower. I'm trying to decide if I want to add lilac or lavender. I think I want to add lilac. You have good ideas all the time, Koneko. And this will be our last slime, by the way, and then we'll take a break. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Okay. It's really heavy on the coffee still. I want to add some more man. I don't remember which of my droppers was my man dropper. <laughs> but uh, we're just going to do some more of him. Okay, this is a very unique smell, but I do think it captures mist. Um, okay, yes, that smells good. Uh, but for anyone overwhelmed by scents, I don't recommend. <laughs> 
I don't recommend putting all these together, but if you like to play with sets, I think this was good. Okay. Now let's get our slime together. Scooch out the way. All right. Lunar, I'm going to show you, since you're here now, the slime making process. We're going to do a clear glue for this one. We're going to measure out four ounces of clear glue. Ooh, I did way too much. This is four and a half ounces. Oops. That's okay though. Okay. Now we're going to put in our scent. Now I know from what I've read and the experiments that I've done as well, that if you have too much scent in your clear slime, it's not gonna it's not gonna like clear up very well. But that's okay because we're adding a lot of like glitters and things too. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Five milliliters of our little mixture. <gasps> Thank you so much for the sub, White Palace. And welcome in, by the way. I'm so happy to have a new person here and subscribing for my 300 follower thank you stream. You're so sweet. Um, yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I never expect uh, strangers to be somebody that subs. When we get a new sub, we do a pin on the curtain back there. So do not let me forget you guys. We're gonna do a pin after we make this mist slime. Okay, so this is basically our slime. We're gonna add in our umber to give it that steampunk look. Oh my gosh, the scent right now, you guys. The scent in this room. <laughs> I love playing with scents and the, this is even a little bit like, wow, we're gonna just close that. We're gonna close our little mixture over there. <laughs> Did the gift play? Did I, I didn't see the gift pop up. Did it play for you, Kaneko? Okay, um, let's just dump some in. Just dump some in and mix it. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's see what how this comes out and then we'll add some more. Oh, okay, I just didn't look up then. And then we'll add some more glitters. Oh, look at this. Ah, <gasps> swirly. So we're gonna find out if mica powder works in slime or if this just gets all over my hands when I play with it. We'll find out together. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, I really love how this mica powder looks. I hope that this turns out. Cause this is gorgeous. Like, look at this. Oh my God, like it's beautiful. It's so swirly. Okay, wait, I just, uh, I gotta smell it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay, let's add in some of our glitters. So let's get some rose gold in there. I don't think I've used this one yet. It might still, yeah. It still has the thing on it. Let's uh, open this up. There we go. And I still did get glitter everywhere. I was trying to avoid that, but I could not. Okay. And I've used the silver one, so we don't have to do that for the silver one, but I have not used this bronze one yet, so for this one too. Oh, my stirrer was about to fall. Don't fall, stirrer. And glitter's everywhere now. <laughs> Got glitter all over my shirt. There we go. We're just very sparkly today. 
stop trying to fall in the slime stirrer. Okay, now that I've got them all opened, let's go back to it. Okay, let's add in some of you. Add in some of the rose gold. Let's add in some of the silver. <laughs> but I love glitter. I don't mind. It's okay. We clean it up later. Okay, now we get some more swirlies. Oh my god, look at those. Oh, look at those swirlies, you guys. Hello, by the way, Az. How are you doing? Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Okay, we're going to start activating this and then we'll see if we need more glitter to get the texture that I want. But oh my gosh, this is so sparkly and swirly. I'm like in love. And then you can kind of see how clear slime activates. It activates very well also. I almost can't tell what's going on because there's so much reflection from the mica swirlies, <laughs> but I love it. No one has told me any different anyway. <laughs> I know what you mean, as I know what you mean. <laughs> Okay, the mica powder is making it clump up a little bit. I'm really curious how this goes. Really curious. Yeah, we're experimenting just like you would in mist. I think I need to get my hands in there and start kneading. Welcome, Marinbo on Twitter. Did I say that right? Mer, Mer, Morbino, Morbino. Welcome to the stream. I'm a variety streamer, but today, well, today we're doing an extra special stream where we're making slime for thank you for 300 followers. We're doing a little ASMR too. I don't always talk like this. We're just doing that for, for this stream. And this is a Mist inspired stream because we love the Mist series of games. I have a playthrough of Mist and of Riven. Um, the VODs are on my YouTube channel. Okay, I think, I think this is working. Maybe it's hard to tell if the mica powder is just is coming off on my hands or not. I'm not sure, but it looks like it might be working. It feels like it might be working anyway. Find out. Don't want it to get over activated and too clumpy. So we're gonna knead it while it's still pretty wet, I think, for the clear slime. Let's get some more out of the bowl. Feels, the clear slime can feel very stiff when you're kneading it, so I'm definitely scared of overactivating it compared to like the school glue.
I'm sure this is why people use the stand mixers <laughs> that make big batches, although it is very fun making it with your hands. Got lots of satisfying bubbly sounds. Be quiet and let you guys listen while I mix this one. Definitely need some more activator. mica powder is coming off on my hands very much so I think you can totally use mica powder to color slime. Mica powder did create a lot of lumpies in the slime, though, that we're having to work out. Like it is not smooth. <laughs> those glitters and look at how it shifts in the light. Oh my gosh. This is a really beautiful slime. Here, let me switch over. You can see it.
<laughs> it's a super missed vibe, Koneko. Okay, like it really totally worked. Like, like just look at that. Let me put it up like close to the camera. You can see all the different colors in it. Okay. I do think I overactivated it slightly though, but here's the good thing about overactivating it is I can just wait a few days and then mess with it some more. I do think with clear slimes, I have found it's better to overactivate them because they do melt kind of easily. I like this. I think I'm going to make some more mica powder slimes, Koneko. I'm very happy with the color of this. It's like gorgeous. Oh, okay. Oh, it's finally starting to meet out. Seeing some of those lumpies disappear and it's getting smoother. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. All right. What? Look at this like liquid metal and it smells like having coffee outside at a cafe with your bestie that's what it smells like somewhere rural you had just an outdoor cafe somewhere rural you're having coffee with your bestie Get him a, let's get him a container. Oh wait, there's some still in the, let's get it off this. There we go. Okay. We are going to take a little break in a moment. I'm going to undo the ASMR stuff. We're going to switch over and we're going to play some Sims 2. We're going to continue our Pleasant View playthrough that we've been doing. For those of you guys that are watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, the VOD for that will go up to tomorrow. If you guys are enjoying this stream, please follow. Uh, if, uh, if you're not enjoying it, then I don't know what you're doing here all the way to the end. Um, I can't stop playing with the slime. Um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's switch. Let's switch to the webcam. There we go. Now you just see me. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you would like to find me, if I could spell when I type with one hand. There we go. If you'd like to find me, there's all the places. I post all of my VODs to YouTube. Uh, you can find me on Twitter for the latest pull too hard. Latest updates. Um, join my Discord server to get all the most up-to-date notifications. Also, if you'd like to support me, here are all the ways. You can do all of the normal Twitch ways like you're used to, subscribing and bits and all of that. I've also got a tip dar jar. I've also got a merch store. And I've got a throw-in wish list, whatever you prefer. All right, you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this guy in his container. Oh my gosh, welcome, Moria. Thank you so much for joining us. All right, we're going to say goodbye to YouTube, um, and we'll, uh, but I'll still talk to you guys on Twitch. All right, bye, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>